Hello, I'm Lawrence Fishburne. Whether performing on the field or in the boardroom, the world of athletics is a competitive place, and innovators in the industry know that you must stay on your toes to stay in the game. Here's one such example. It's an indescribable sensation, a freshly cut, dew-covered fairway, the sounds of the course coming to life. To many of us, golf isn't just a sport, it's a lifestyle, a kinetic bond to nature, and a link to the past. This connection is most prevalent when a golfer experiences the game as it was intended, walking every step of the round. Literally all golfers in Europe walk you have to have a medical exemption to ride in a four-wheel cart. In the United States, 30% of golfers walk, and that's due to a lot of things. It could be the courses they play. A lot of courses don't allow walkers. They insist that you ride due to some feeling that walking golf slows the process. But there are those walkers who insist on walking. They'll walk till the day they die, and they feel that they play better golf when they walk. Our job as a company is to educate the populace that you don't have to ride a golf cart. People just know that they play better. You're walking the fairway, you're feeling the course under your feet. Some great golf courses have been ruined by making you have to ride a cart. I don't know the last time I saw a PGA Tour pro riding a cart. They're walking. You don't want to be on top of a bad shot fast. You haven't cleared your mind. As you're walking up to your shot, getting ready to make that second shot, your feet are telling you if you're on a side slope, left or right, down slope or up slope, if you're going to have a hook lie or a fade lie. There's a lot your feet and your eyes will tell you about what shot is coming up next. And you've got the time between your tee shot and that approach shot to make those decisions. Golf changed when Tiger came on the scene. Golf, they used to say it was a round belly sport. It was old guys riding carts out there, playing golf, having a few beers. Tiger came on and he was young, but he was the one that got into the physical fitness. So people started to look at golf as more of a sport. So walking became an integral part of it. While the golf cart has played a significant role in expanding the accessibility of the game to the elderly, youth, and physically challenged, it's become clear that cart golf has significant disadvantages. In addition, those who walk the course have been burdened with awkwardly carrying their bag or using push and pull carts that can be detrimental to a golfer's health. I've talked with quite a few sports doctors who say carrying is easier on your back than pushing. Pushing is absolutely the worst because it twists your back, it gets your back in an awkward position. You're constantly on it. It's, it's just not a natural state for your body to be in. Our business started many years ago in helping the walking golfer walk longer. How I got into using the product was because of a bad back. At a very young age, I had a back issue and went to using a motorized cart because I couldn't carry and pulling. I thought if someone actually had a proper brand and built the brand awareness and the education awareness of why this is good for you and that you will play better. It was refreshing when I was dealing with golf pros or retailers were going, well, no one's ever positioned it this way. No one's ever talked about the commercial value to this or that it's better for a person to use one of these. We're glad you could join us today. I'm Lawrence Fishburne. See you next time.